Hey, it's Natalie from the Human Nutrition Project, and we've been talking a lot about anemia. So we're gonna continue the discussion. Uh, on our last post, we talked about red blood cells being either too small or too big uh, to hold oxygen, which causes an anemia in the body. So I wanna focus a little bit more on small red blood cells. And we talked a little bit about iron deficiency anemia causing your red blood cells to get small, and then they can't, they don't have that heme molecule and they can't carry oxygen anymore. So. Uh, I wanna go into another culprit that's often overlooked and that's actually a B6 deficiency. So both iron and B6 can cause your red blood cells to be small. And that's because both iron and B6 are important for heme synthesis, which is that protein in your red blood cells that carries oxygen. So it's always good to look for both, but unfortunately most people just look for iron. So I'm gonna go over, you know, when, when you know iron's the culprit and when you know B6 is the culprit or when both are the culprit. So uh, this is when we start playing detective. We start cross-referencing blood values. So as we talked about before, we first looked at, look at MCV, which is how big are your red blood cells. So when they're small, we start thinking microcytic anemia. Um, and another value you could check is hemoglobin. When hemoglobin's low, uh, that also means there's probably an anemia going on. So uh, for iron, if iron is the culprit, we're gonna cross-reference both serum iron and ferritin. Serum, serum iron is kind of how much iron is in your blood, and serum ferritin is how much uh, iron storage you have. So when those are low, you start to think iron as the culprit for your anemia. Now, um, if those are normal, then we start looking at some of the blood values that indicate a B6 deficiency anemia. And uh, the first one I always look at, and I check this in all athletes, is homocysteine. Now, homocysteine is this metabolic byproduct that floats around in our blood and causes damage to our blood vessels. It could uh, affect our blood vessels, our heart, and our bones. And it's really important to check on athletes because if you chronically have high homocysteine, over the long run, you can cause damage to your bones, your heart, and your blood vessels, which could lead to more susceptibility to things like uh, broken bones, stress fractures, uh, total body inflammation, um, a weaker heart, and you know even heart attacks, which can happen in athletes. So it's really important to make sure you keep that homocysteine in check. Now, the reason it indicates a B6 deficiency is because to process homocysteine out of the blood, you need B12, B6, and folate. And when you don't have enough of those vitamins, uh, homocysteine goes up. So uh, if you have small red blood cells and high homocysteine, you start thinking, okay, we probably have a B6 deficiency going on. Um, some less uh, lesser common values you can cross-check are a uh, blood value called AST, ALT, and LDH. These are B6 dependent enzymes, and when those are low, you can start, you know, it just kind of builds more of a case for a B6 deficiency. So, um, now what happens if you have low iron, low ferritin, high homocysteine, and low LDH, AST, or ALT? Well, then you kind of have all the things going on, and that's when you start thinking, okay, I probably have a, both an iron and a B6 deficiency anemia, and it's important to uh, supplement with both to fix it. Um, I think with athletes, a lot of the time, uh, they'll catch an iron deficiency anemia, and if for some reason it doesn't resolve quickly or it keeps lingering, it may be because there's also a B6 deficiency going on and you're gonna need both to make that heme molecule so you can carry oxygen on your blood. So um, I hope this helps it kind of, you know, just looking at one blood value in isolation isn't very helpful. It tells you just like one little piece to the story, but it's really good to look at all the blood values, how they work with each other, how they play on each other. It gives a more complete picture and kind of helps us to understand what's going on inside the body. So I wanted to bring this up because iron deficiencies are easy to recognize, but B6 deficiencies often go overlooked. So stay tuned, we'll be talking more about different anemias and hope that helps and get your blood work out and start cross-checking and cross-referencing your blood values.